morning everybody i hope you're doing well it is another rainy day here in tokyo actually it's been raining for practically every day non-stop for about a week here it's a liar from london which i actually enjoy when i get to stay home and be cozy i've been wearing this outfit for the past week i think it's christmas i know it's supposed to be christmas but i feel like since there's no santa claus or reindeer or any symbol of christmas i think i can get away with wearing it right now it is the best most softest material and do you see this when Charlotte and I were carving pumpkins the other day, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it below. A lot of people were really scared at the sight of me trying to use a knife. Some people were so terrified to the point that they couldn't even watch the video, and some people just found it kinky. However, we made it out safely, or so everybody thought. The pumpkin waited until no one was watching to strike me in the leg. It was way worse four days ago, I swear, it really, really hurt. I was putting out the garbage, and when I went to put it down in the garbage area, it like fell in the bag, and the stem like sliced through the bag and sliced through my leg at the same time. So, tip from me, Ooh. life hack, life hack for me today. We have to play it. Getting good at these, I discover new things every day. Okay, life hack, don't, if you carve your pumpkin early, don't leave it inside. It will grow moldy within three days and then you will have to throw it out and then it will try and murder you for that. Do you wanna say good morning to them? <laughs> good morning to you. Good morning to you. We have a friend coming over today. Yes, we have a friend coming over today. My boyfriend's friend from Hong Kong is coming over today. Actually, and it's the first time I'm going to meet her. She is gonna be here in about an hour and we're gonna have lunch together and just chat and hang out. Did the dishes and stuff this morning. I lit some nice smelling fall candles over there and over here. I also ordered the Halloween Krispy Kreme donuts, which look so, 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 so cute. And I can't wait to see them. They should arrive here any minute. Show them your new babies for Halloween. They have the cutest little Halloween toys and treats and costumes for dogs in Japan. I actually might whip out the old costumes if I've saved any. I think I have. And put them on her just for fun. Should we play with this one? you love this one. Ready? Go! Oh. Okay, ready? 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 Go! <laughs> She's having a little... Oh, she got it. More canned coffee? Oh my goodness. We literally could open a cafe in here. So we've got this espresso machine that kind of does a lot of stuff. And then we've got the regular American Americano filtered coffee. And then we've got iced coffee in here. And then we've got practically a whole vending machine of canned coffee because that's my boyfriend's recent interest. So many babies. This is the best. Why is it the best? It said it like uh, roasted for four times. Roasted four times? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Here is the box. Look how cute it is. I love it. It's like super Harajuku looking. try and set up a cool flat lay for Instagram. Oh, I also got these flowers yesterday or the day before. They're super pretty. Got a little cat there. Like little leaves and pumpkins. I love all the little details. So if I take it from up here. So I have these Halloween lights. I think I'm gonna put on this side. I got these at Nitori. I think they'll put a nice little touch on this corner and then I'm gonna shoot an epic Instagram photo, which is completely not fake because I always make my house look perfect like this. Are you sure? <laughs> I didn't notice that at all. There we go. Okay, let's set these up. Guys, look what I just did. As I was slaving away in the kitchen preparing, I'm just kidding, we ordered from Uber Eats. But as I was opening the soy sauce packages, 
it exploded all over my shirt. So now I have to change. Perfect, she's here already. <laughs> now she can see me in my natural state, a mess. Hello, hi. Actually, I feel like now that she's already seen this, I can just keep wearing it. I think I'm gonna do that. There. Ready, go. You can bring it to her there. <laughs> oh no, she didn't turn. <laughs> This is our lunch spread. Hey guys, it's been a little, a few hours. It's 5 p.m. now, our friend left. We had a really nice lunch and I've just been sitting here editing this video, which is the video where my boyfriend bought my Halloween costumes. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it below. It was pretty fun. He definitely didn't get the costumes I would expect him to get. Whenever I edit and import footage, I always just like surf around the net, see what's trending going on. Um, and I came across this photo before I realized I've had enough of the internet for today. Um, here it is. It's a uh, thong jeans created by Vetmont and Levi's. I tweeted this photo and a lot of you guys are thinking I'm gonna DIY this and wear it on the street, but if I did, I would probably get arrested here and I'm just, I'm gonna sit this one out this time, respectively. I'm gonna choose to um, sit this one out. Now I wanna take the time to show you my new camera setup because I changed everything. As most of you know, about a week ago, my camera was in a tragic accident. <laughs> And well, its body is still here, its soul went to heaven. Here is my new vlogging setup. I got a new camera, a new tripod that's strong and sturdy and doesn't look like something you would use in the bedroom sexually. This is a great design. The problem with it is over time it gets weak and it starts to feel like you're playing Russian roulette every time you want to film because you never know when it's going to give out. I previously always used the Canon G5X. They're both comparable and I like them both. So I went with the cheaper version and that's the only reason why I bought this. And now that I've been using it, I really like it a lot. I love the way it looks. Maybe it's because it's a new camera so it doesn't have as much wear and tear and like everything's working well. But I'm loving it so far. So I'm now using the Canon G7X Mark II. So I decided to finally change and try the Manfrotto tripod. To me, it feels more sturdy for some reason. Since I haven't made one of these videos in a while, I'm gonna show you right now the camera I use to shoot my, vein, my main videos or when I'm like sitting down like that and I wanna set an exact setting for lighting, etc. is this one, the Canon 80D is the one I'm using. And I just put on the standard lens usually that comes with it. I do have other lenses, but for the most part lately, I've just been using the standard lens. I have to say, I've kind of went back down to basics. Like I used to try all these crazy lens, hardcore lighting, like especially with, when I was in my doll phase and I wanted my hair to be shiny and perfect and everything looking good. I had so much lighting and like, um, shiny boards, reflective boards, everything to make my skin look good. I don't use any of that anymore. I basically use that vlogging camera for the most part. This if I'm sitting down and I don't want to hold the camera. And then lighting wise, I always pretty much 95% of the time just use the natural lighting in vlogs like this one. Don't, even in my main videos lately, I always just use natural lighting. I just shoot in the morning. But if it's really late at night, because especially now in the winter, it's hard to keep the lighting up. I'll just turn on one of these, but I don't turn it on my face so that it's not like super bright and blinding. I just kind of bounce it off the window to kind of look at it, make it look like it's a bit more natural. So sometimes I'll just use one of these or two of these if I'm sitting far back on the couch. The odd time, if it's something for skin and I need to do close-ups, I'll use this, but I rarely ever use that too. So yeah, I mostly just use daylight and my vlogging camera and then this camera the odd time for both main videos and vlogs. This is what this camera looks like for vlogs. However, it's a bit too heavy for me. I don't like carrying it around all day. I don't have Casey Neistat muscles. All right, now let's do the Sailor Moon giveaway while we're here. Whoa, there's over 10,000 comments on that one. Okay, I'm gonna load all these. I'll see you guys in a second because it's gonna take time. Randomly pick a winner. Jam. Hi Taylor, I'm from Toronto too. Woo! The thing I'm most excited about for fall is when my husband makes a special vegan butternut squash soup. It's the yummiest ever. Oh, that sounds delicious. Love you. All right, Jam, you are the winner. I'm gonna contact you. Congratulations. Now I am going to eat something. Then um, I'm gonna go to the gym 
and then shower and then read my book and then go to bed so I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm gonna leave you guys with a little cliffhanger in my next video I'm going to tell you something big that's happening in my life my more my personal life I guess although it's also affecting my work I don't know it, it's something big something it's this thing that I was thinking about when I took the week off and at having to do stuff for make decision decisions for I will tell you guys what's going on in my next video basically so I will see you then thanks for watching bye I'm sorry don't hate me I know I'm leaving like this but uh, yeah you'll see soon bye